What's up internet? My name is Kayla and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today's video is actually inspired by my mother. We had our phone date in the morning which has not happened in a minute and so what do we do on our morning phone dates? We do our makeup together and so I felt like a little bit of color, been testing out the subculture soft glam. I was like you know what I need a little bit of bright action today. So I asked her what color she put on my eyes and she said purple and why was I surprised by that? I really should not have been. She loves purple. So I took purple and I ran with it and I'm really feeling this eye look today. So I said, you know what? I could take a rest and, you know, you know, heal and relax like I should do. I was still feeling a little bit under the weather and I'm just going to film my needles anyways. So because of our phone date, because I did this eye look, that is a very long way to say I'm going to share five products with you that I used to hate but now I love. And so with all that said, let's get rolling. Okay, so for the reason, the inspiration of this video, why I gave that weird story about my mom pretty much telling me what color I put on my eyes is because I was staring at the NYX Ultimate Basic. It's the NYX Ultimate Brights palette. <laughs> That's what it is. And so I know that this is a palette that was raved about on the internet. In terms of like bright, affordable eyeshadow palettes, this is one that people really point to a lot. I wasn't really enamored by it, but I needed a bright yellow. I was really wanting to have that bright cradle yellow in my collection. So I saw this yellow um, in the corner over here and I thought, ha, huh, perfect. No, do not like this yellow. Did not like it at all. Put the shadow, this palette away. I was like, nope, you're not good. I don't like you. But then I started reaching for it. Like after, a few months later, I was like, after I decided that I didn't like him, I started reaching for it again and again and again. And I had really fallen in love with this palette. Yes, the yellow isn't the greatest. Um, the yellow, you can barely even see it on my finger. Also, it's really hard to dig into the pan. Okay, that's a little bit better. And then this orange right next to it, it's very macaroni and cheese kind of color, so it's not my personal favorite. But let me just say that the colors in here are really worth it. This purple and this lighter, like more orchid kind of color, those are on my eyes. Um, I took a blue from a uh, Juvia's Face palette for my lid, but then underneath my lower lash line is this teal. I absolutely love this freaking teal. There is some shimmer, actually really glitter in some of the palettes, but they don't really come across on the eyes. And I really wish I did not judge this palette based off the one yellow, because I absolutely love it now. Next item, I used to hate, now I love it. Okay, I didn't used to hate this, but this is the Pacifica Cherry Lava Pur Purifying Charcoal Mask. And I wanted a charcoal mask. I wanted something that's really, you know, purifying, basically this. And I only chose this one over another one because it said lava. And I love plate tectonics and earthquakes and volcanoes. So I went total nerd and chose this. Now, at first I was using it as a face mask for everywhere, and that was like, mm, it was too much, it's really messy, I didn't like it for that. But then, I started using it for just spot treatment. So whenever I would have like a pretty nasty zit, I would take this out, just put it over the area where the zit is, and then I have extra stuff on my fingers, so I put it on my forehead, which I also have acne, you know, some like nose area, and you just wait the 10 to 15, 20 minutes, you let it dry, and then you just wash it off. This for me is my zip killer. I swear. I use this face mask, I rinse it all off, and then I just take a cotton pad with some toner on it, pat, 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 make sure the toner really gets in there, you know. And then I moisturize and tan on my day, and the next morning, it's if it's not completely dead, you can definitely tell it's on its way out. So as a full face mask, no go, but as a spot treatment, Highly, highly love this. This is actually almost gone, and so this will probably be something I repurchase. Another thing I used to kind of hate, but not really, um, the NYX Epic Ink Liner. This, okay, I have been a die-hard Physician's Formula 2-in-1 lasting blah 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 eyeliner. Die-hard. And then this eyeliner came out and people started talking about it. The hype was a little bit there. I need to get a new eyeliner anyway, so like sure, yeah. It's fine. That was kind of my thing. It was fine. It did the job done. And then, um, you're not going to be able to see this even if I zoom in, but actually let's give it a shot. So, I don't know how well you can tell, but it is a brush tip. And up, up super close, like really up super close the brush hairs would start like fraying and falling down 
um, the size of the liner and that would be really annoying because you'd have these random hairs like sticking out so it's like you gotta make sure you really have placed your liner. But then a lot of them started falling down and then it was all I was like oh this actually isn't too bad. It's crazy pigmented. It's been lasting me for months and months and I actually don't mind this. Would I still choose it over my physician's formula liner? In a pinch I would. I, I'm still a diehard. I can't really specifically say why I like the Physicians Formula one more than this one. I like the silver packaging. I like how it kind of feels luxurious. This still feels like pretty drugstore where Physicians Formula at least gives me an illusion it's high end. And I will say, like, kind of when you try to do a wing, you kind of have to go back and forth and try to, like, make sure the eyes are as even as you possibly can. It is a little bit easier with the Physician Formula um, because sometimes this just gets a little bit rough once it dries down and you have to go reapply. But that is only something, like, that's minor nitpicking. And honestly, this is, like, 7 or $8. My Physician Formula one is, like, 10 or $11. So for me, it's not really a big deal or difference. Um, but at least I can say I don't hate this anymore. Um, so I'm gonna go back into a skincare a little bit. This is the Pixie Vitamin Makeup Mist with Orange Blossom and Citrus Extract. So this was my attempt to find a setting mist without alcohol. It does not have alcohol. So thinking, okay, good idea, good you. And as a finishing setting mist, no. No, 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 no. I felt like this did not dry down on my face like ever and I was in greasy nasty mess so soon into the day so I set this side and I was like you know I love my citrus smells I truly do but you I do not love and then I actually read the back of the bottle and which you can barely read but it does say that um well barely the back of the bottle but the back of the bottle does say boosting treat boosting treatment toner gives a revitalized awakened effect to complexion the orange blossom water base is blended with skin loving citrus fruit extracts lavender and arginine arginine before moisturizer strengthens and tones after makeup as hydration and protective veil anytime cools refreshes and wakes up skin that's hard to read on the back of this bottle but like i said as any mist no but as a toner, yes, absolutely yes, as a toner. I, between this and my formula 1006 one, okay, I love, I love me some more citrus scents, but I really love this as a toner, the fact that I can actually use it. Will I repurchase it again? Maybe if it's on sale, but I don't hate it and I do recommend it. Um, maybe if you had drier skin, this would work as a setting mist, but just for me and my complexion, it was a no-go. And then my last product that I used to hate and now I love, technically it's not what I have here. Here is actually the Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil. But the one I really hated was the Benefit Goof Proof Brow, ba Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. So, but these are basically very similar. They kind of have the triangular shape to them. Okay, so this is kind of hard to show, but it's not just a pointed tip there's kind of like this triangular action going on which is very similar to the benefit brow pencil and why i didn't like these brow pencils at first was because well the benefit goof proof you told me it was goof proof benefit no it wasn't it wasn't i was like i hate you like my brows are still messed up but then i started to use it because cruelty free going cruelty free in 2018 I was using that pencil almost exclusively for months it was like dang it I want you gone it's a brown pencil it can't be this freaking hard it was that hard but once it was gone and I just had my Anastasia brow is like it just a basic pencil man I was really missing it and how easy it was and I purchased um this wet and wild one while I still had the benefit brow pencil and I was using this kind of more and more I was like you know what actually for me, these more triangular pencils are really better for me. They, I get the shape more I want. It's easier and faster for me to do my brows. Um, I'm not good at my brows in the first place, but at least this saves me on some time. I did not use this today. I don't know why I was pointing to my brows. But this, and then I also got the brow definer, I think, from Anastasia with the 21 Days of Beauty. And so, because I wanted to try the similar shape, and I really like that one too. So, I used to hate these brow pencil shapes. I thought Benefit steered me wrong, but now I really love these pencils, and I'm coming to really depend on them. So, 
that's it for today's video guys let me know down in the comments below if you've tried any products that you used to hate but now you really enjoy i would love to hear from you guys and thank you so much for watching i hope you guys follow me on instagram and twitter i'm at kayla with a c hayes with a z and i'd love to see you on my next video have joy